Hey everyone, my name is Shadowrunner1989 and welcome to episode 23 of Let's Play Spelunky. Before we get started, I wanted to show you... Look, because we beat Omek now, Omek's head is um, beneath our uh, spear here. Um, because that's what we did in the last episode. Okay, I guess we can't play the dating challenge. Uh, yeah, we did the dating challenge, which didn't go so well. But also, we beat Omek for the first time, starting at the shortcut. That means we unlocked... Uh, let's see where he is. No, yes, Jungle Warrior. We're gonna play as Jungle Warrior now, and uh, we're gonna start at the um, at the mines and see if we can get to Omak and beat him. Because that's the next step. Yeah, I didn't expect to beat uh, Omak on my like third run in the temple or second run in the temple that I recorded to today, but it happened, and I'm uh, quite happy with that. And. Uh, did that really just not trigger? Yeah, that was gonna. This is gonna be a bad run. I'm probably gonna die right now. Oh no, I mean, I should dodge it. Please go up a bit so you can. No, you're not gonna trigger the arrow for me, you bitch. So yeah, beating Omek, uh, I really, I really, I'm really glad I did that. And the uh, next goal is, of course, beating you from the mine. And after that, it's uh, you know getting all the secret characters and getting to hell. Just uh, yeah, um, I made some steps in getting to hell unintentionally last time because uh, at one run I think I did collect uh, the Ankh and then went on to die accidentally on the, the. I didn't mean to die, but I died on the ice caves, and there's. To get to hell, you need to die at a certain point in the ice caves, and then you respawn. Poor Monty. Uh, you respawn and you get the Hedget, which is an item that you need to get to the City of Gold. In combination with the Scepter you get from killing Anubis. And if you get the Scepter and the Hedget, you go to the City of Gold where you collect the Necronomicon. And then you have to beat Omek in a certain place. And after you do that, um, you have to ride him down into the lava and go into the exit uh, entrance to hell. But yeah, I've never done that um, before, so... We'll see uh, how long it takes me to, to get that. Um, I defeated, defeated Omek a lot sooner than I expected to. But now there's the challenge of getting to uh, Omek from the mines and defeat him actually, which I think is harder to do. Because, yeah, getting through the temple is, is hard, but as soon as you get to Omek, all you really need is bombs and ropes. Um, and a bit of luck, which I did have last time. Because there were some cavities in the in the ground, which, which allowed me to get to the bottom faster. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had enough bombs. And, uh, yeah, but getting getting there from here is... Uh, oh, this, this makes it a lot more interesting. Getting to, to, to Olmec from the mines is kind of difficult, of course, because the jungle is hard as fuck and the ice caves aren't to be trifled with either. Now, I, I don't think I've used the, the, the teleporter on camera yet, and um, it is a risky item to use because you can kill yourself with it, but it teleports you a few tiles in whichever direction you happen to be already moving. Okay, that was not how I intended to do. So yeah, let's just play around with it for a while uh, I do hear Monty so if we do find Monty then uh, oh well this for example is, uh, is, is I might want to do this so I can dodge the bad Cobra but you can get yourself stuck in a wall and then you die if you teleport into a wall but it's uh, good for uh, for for speed running. Oh shit! Well, I dodged the uh, I dodged the uh, arrow trap there just by teleporting uh, when it would have hit me. It was a risk, but it paid off well. And look what we found there. Oh, I didn't mean to drop the teleporter, but it worked out okay. Ugh, that was just too bad. 
Okay, that was a four minute run so long. Yeah, I, I, that's really too bad. I, 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 I thought that would have been an, an entertaining run. Oh, that's, uh, that's a lot of spiders. Not anymore, though. Die. Okay, let's hope this run is more successful. If uh, if I can get seem to get past anything for a while, I might just start some runs on the uh, later floors, like uh, maybe the jungle or the ice cave, just to get some uh, diversity, get a higher chance of unlocking maybe secret characters. There's a few left uh, to do. So I didn't want to take damage, of course, but uh, like it, you know, like true to my usual style, I did take did take damage in a in a stupid way. But hey, at least uh, I beat Olmec last episode, so not everything is as bad as they could be. So yeah, there's uh, some frame rate issues again. I don't know what exactly, how, why it is happening, because I ha I've even been experiencing it uh, during off-camera play, which is usually not something that happens with I don't know, maybe I have to fix my computer in some way. I'm not really a computer wizard, so that's gonna be a problem. There should be some things possible. Well, let's see, what do you have to offer? I will murder you. I'm sorry, but it had to be done. Now let's see how long I can go without murdering myself in some stupid way. Or getting murdered by the shopkeepers later on. Okay, this is... um. Not so fun, the chest is already here, and it's not very near to the key. So we're gonna have to lock both of these things around. Yeah, I know I didn't pick up the shotgun, but let's just first drop this down here. The shotgun makes us directly more survivable, of course, but it also, because I killed the shopkeeper, they're all gonna be pissed at me now. And they might actually kill me on the next floor or something. Because, yeah, not only does the, sh the regular shopkeeper show up to hate you, there's also an extra shopkeeper that shows up at the end of every floor, who also hates you a lot. But hey, that's kind of logical, I did just murder one of their friends or clones or whatever. Okay, yeah, that was that was really dumb of me. I know that I knew the blast, pad, the knockback was gonna knock me into the arrow trap, but oh well. No key yet. Do we hear Monty? I did murder something there, I don't know exactly what, but probably a snake or something. Ah, there we go. That was a bit closer than I would have liked, but hey, I'm still alive. Let's see. Okay, now also because I murdered the shopkeeper, I don't need fifty thousand dollars to get to Uja, the uh, Ankh on the on the black market because they're all gonna hate me anyway. So I might just clip the black market altogether and just go for uh, for a regular Olmec beat, not immediately go for hell. You know, when you're a real high level player, uh, you can basically make any run a hell run, but if you're not, not at that level yet, that you need, a lot of things need to go right on the run to get the hell, and I don't feel I'm at that level yet where I can just force any run to be good enough to get the hell. So if I get the chance, I'm certainly gonna try, but uh, my, my main focus is, is definitely gonna be on the on getting, just getting, beating Olmec a few more times. And unlocking the characters, and then we'll see when we'll end up in hell. Because yeah, there are there is some stuff some stuff to unlock in hell, like extra enemies for the journal and new items, and uh, you get 
get an, an extra character for beating uh, beating Yama, which is the boss of hell. But it's a long ways away. I still want to beat some of the enemies you get in specialty in the specialty levels as well, because well, I just want to unlock all the characters, of course. So we are gonna free Monty here. More bombs, always welcome, though by killing all the shopkeepers you pretty much guarantee yourself that every once in a while you're gonna get some free bombs, unless you die, and if you die you're not gonna need any bombs anyway, so who are you kidding? Oh yeah, there's a... Uh... There he is. Yeah, I died. Maybe I should have just gone for the door, but uh, I wanted to get that Monty. And I didn't get that Monty, so that's unfortunate. I am gonna go for the trade. And I do have the parachute, and it, it immediately I use the parachute. That must have been the, the quickest parachute use ever. I did. Uh, I did try recording uh, some stuff with DX Story actually, but I thought the even the the game audio was like subpar when you when I used that. So I uh, I I opted against that. I really hope this this thing can come over here. No. So we're gonna have to activate this this thing by ourselves. It's unfortunate. It's a waste of a rope. But um. Can we make that jump? Yes, we can, but there's nothing there, so why bother? Okay, Monty, you go here. I did just smash him into the ground. It's not so good for a pet owner to do, of course. Be uh, be aware, though, I do not treat my uh, my real dog like that. Well, my mom's dog, really, but hey. It's my dog as well. Well, um, that's unfortunate. Monty's dead. He did save me from uh, losing two health, though. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the compass from you. Oh no! Frame rates! Um. Oh shit. Monty, good boy. You know, it's just. Oh no! I murdered Monty again. And still, every time Monty sees me, he's happy. Even though half of the time I end up murdering him or sacrificing him to some some evil, well, to a god of, I don't know, death and destruction. Die. Die. I don't think I'm gonna play with um, uh, Jungle Warrior all the time. He looks kinda cool, but I think I'm gonna stick to Van Helsing and the Green Ninja. Cause hey, I'm Shadowrunner, ninjas uh, do stealthy stuff, so it kinda fits. And Van Helsing is just awesome. What I really want to do, though, is unlock uh, one of the character, one of the characters that has uh, that is a Viking. Cause he's kind of cool as well. Um, yeah, I didn't really platform that well there. It's unfortunate. Hey, look what we found here is the key. Why am I at two health? Oh yeah, because I murdered all the Monties until now. I'm generally played like an idiot. I did see the chest, but um, seems to be in a shitty location. Yeah, I deserve that. I just walked right into it. Okay, one more run. And then after that I'm gonna start at the, like, um, I don't know. Try and get a specialty level on the uh, ice caves, maybe. Kill the alien lord or something. 
which is kind of hard to do if you don't have any items. Maybe try to get the wet fur level, just so I can hear the music, even though I, I can just look it up on YouTube. Now we're gonna want to keep the skull so we can trigger... Oh no! That did not nearly go as uh, how I planned it. And that was only the first floor of the mines as well. Hey! It's the chest. At least I don't have to lock the key around anymore. It was a real pain getting the key from, uh, from the mines all the way to the end of the ice caves. But Shortcut was worth it. Okay. Don't see a key yet. Still no key. Oh, we're definitely gonna murder this guy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no! Oh, come on. Oh, hey. It's a Monty. Oh no! Get away from the shopkeeper, you fool! I'm gonna probably kill Monty in some way here again. Oh no, he survived. Oh, I really deserve to die here again. No! Get away from me, you bastard! Oh god. Okay, back to health. You get the 8-bit music. Lord, this is a crappy run. Hi, die. There we go. Yeah, I should have just dropped the scorpion. I don't know why I was carrying it. Here. Oh, the jetpack is so close. Let's just buy the teleporter and the spike shoes and... The... Maybe we can get a compass anyway. No. Okay, we're gonna do another teleporter run. And die immediately, probably. Okay, so... Teleporting down is a bit risky if you don't see what's happening beneath you, but sometimes it can be worth the risk. Look there, I think it's a bit too risky to do it there. But maybe here? No. Okay, so here it is. Oh, it teleported me down a lot further than I would expect. If you teleport into most enemies, you actually kill them, which is kind of fun. I don't expect this run to last much longer, but at least we got to the jungle. Yes. Well, no use using the teleporter there. I don't know what would have happened if I had teleported into the man trap. I think it might still have killed me. Dead or restless, please. Nope. Yeah, I'm... You have to be careful when, when we're trying to decide where to, to tele teleport to, but... See, that, that could happen as well, of course. I thought I was right above the Tiki Trap, but apparently I was just a little bit to the side of it. So I only just survived there, but... Hey, we're close to the black market. Don't know how close though.
I should of course not forget that I have uh, bought the uh, spike shoes, which should make things easier. Let's see, where is the? Oh yeah, I didn't buy the. I thought I bought the compass, but I didn't. Of course, I don't, oh, didn't have enough money. He stole a rope, the bastard. He stole three ropes. Oh Jesus! Oh come on! I was entering the door. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna start in the ice caves. And hopefully, hopefully, quickly get a wet fur level. No! I want what's in there. Oh yeah, I definitely do want what's in there. And ride this down. And die. Can I pick this guy up? Yeah, and he's not even gonna be really a really pissed at me either. Um, oh. Okay. I'm fine with this happening. Yay! Onwards to death. Wet fur, wet fur. No! That's not wet fur. Those are bombs. I like bombs. I don't know how I took damage there, but... Really? I would like an exit, please. Yay! And a Monty even... Oh, shit. There you go. I want Monty! Give me... Good. I don't know how I got in there, but I got in there and now I'm back at base health and I made it to the second level of uh, the ice caves for the first time. In this video. Boom. We're just gonna be bouncing off this dude for a while. And... Yes. It's so cool to use uh, the UFOs as uh, sort of bouncy pads and oh yeah, we're dead. Yeah, that happened. I'm just throwing at the moment, so... Um... Whee! Sorry, I'm stealing stuff. And, and dying immediately, of course. I'm uh, gonna go, go and continue recording until I find wet fur. I'm gonna sacrifice stuff to Kali as well. Got spike shoes, which should increase my survivability by a lot. Please, mines go away. I'm gonna get the Kapala. Kapala, Kapala, Kapala. Good. Oh, UFOs, please die. Bombs. Cop. No Kapala yet. Okay. Uh, is there anything else we can sacrifice here? Doesn't look like it. Yes, there is. Question is, can we even get back there? Nope, we can't. We're dead. Still no wet fur though, so next run. Wet fur! And the secret character. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please don't die. Please don't die.
Woohoo! <laughs> Immediately died! But, unlocked a new character, got the wet fur level. This is the end of the episode. I hope to see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.